PCOS part one. The hormones FSH and LH play critical roles in female fertility from the Metabolic Classroom YouTube podcast. Lest the name polycystic ovary syndrome muddy the water, this is a metabolic problem. It is the most common infertil uh, infertility in women and it's no coincidence that insulin resistance happens to be the single most common problem full stop. These two are intimately connected. And it's just a further reflection of how relevant insulin is throughout the body. Literally, every single cell of the body responds to insulin in some way. And the ovaries are no different. And just as there are so many different types of cells, it's no surprise that insulin does different things at different cells. And what it does at the ovaries is totally different than what it does to others, even what it does within specific cells of the ovaries, like the theca cells, which will be a cell of focus for us today. Now, Steve, to get things um, going with this metabolic classroom discussion, can you share with us what is the role of, of the estrogens, that small little family of the prototypical female sex hormones in female fertility? Yeah, the, you know, female fertility really relies a lot on the female sex hormones, particularly FSH and LH, which is follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. And those come from the hypothalamus uh, to the pituitary, then down to the ovary. And that's kind of an axis that's really important in reproductive health. Uh, and all of those are relevant uh, in this situation and in, in, in every woman. And, and, uh, really that FSH and LH goes to the ovary uh, and then uh, el elicits a response of releasing estrogen or uh, progesterone. Uh, and those are, are related, the androgens, the testosterone, progesterone, and, and estrogen are related and they, they function in different areas in the body differently, but the ovary in particular releases uh, a, a large amount of estrogen and also the test a large amount of the testosterone in the female body as well. Yeah, typically, uh, typically as a kind of a basic rule, the FSH uh, especially creates an estrogen rise, and then um, the LH will then uh, elicit progesterone to start to rise, and then that progesterone either stays high, progesterone meaning pro gestation uh, or uh, pro pregnancy, uh, that will then either stay high if a, if a woman is pregnant and creates, a uh, of, uh, the follicle turns into, uh, the, uh, the, the hormone secreting a portion of, of the pregnancy, mm -hmm. or if that doesn't happen and the pr person doesn't get pregnant, then that progesterone drops. The word ovulation refers to one actual emission or, or the ovary actually releasing the egg. It's really a fascinating process in that some people think that, you know, the left ovary ovulates, then it's the right's turn, then it's yeah. the left's turn. And that's not actually how it works. The, the body with this FSH, FSH is follicle stimulating hormone, and that creates follicles to uh, these eggs that are stored at birth. And even before birth at gestation, a, wo a woman will create all the eggs within her body, and those will be then activated, a few of them will be activated until one dominant follicle will kind of take over hormonally and become the, uh, the ovulatory follicle uh, stimulated by that FSH initially. And then uh, that ovulation triggered by that LH surge will then release that ovary where the fallopian tubes will be able to go and, and or release the mm -hmm. egg, I should say. And the fallopian tube can then get that egg, bring it into the uterus, and the sperm can meet with that, and then it can implant within the uterus to, uh, to cause a pregnancy. PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, is a metabolic problem. Dr. Bickman says, it is the most common type of infertility in women. Insulin resistance is the main problem of chronic disease. These two problems are intimately connected Literally every cell in the body responds to insulin. Different cells in the ovaries respond to insulin differently. Dr. Steve Cole says, 
Female fertility relies on the sex hormones FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone, and LH, luteinizing hormone. These come from the hypothalamus to the pituitary, then down to the ovaries. These two hormones elicit a response from the ovary to release estrogen, release progesterone, and testosterone. These are androgens, critical for reproductive development. FSH creates a rise in estrogen. LH creates a rise in progesterone. Progesterone is progestation or pro-pregnancy. It stays high if pregnancy occurs and the follicle turns into hormone secreting or if there's no pregnancy, it drops. Ovulation, the ovary releasing the egg. Some think first the left ovary releases, then the right, but FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, creates follicles for these eggs where they are stored before birth. A few are then activated until one becomes dominant. It becomes the ovulatory follicle stimulated by FSH. Then ovulation is stimulated by the LH surge. The egg is released, goes down the fallopian tube into the uterus, ready for sperm to cause pregnancy. Annotated, summarized, easy to share with loved ones.